super creature that has 25,000 teeth, which nose is inside out, and that has a belly instead of feet. What do you think it is? An alien from Men in Black? No, it's just a snail. Oh, shiver me shudders. This beauty is called Akatina reticulata albino body, or a giant African snail. It can do some really incredible things. For instance, they say snails can overcome any obstacles. Let's see if that's true. We'll take a hairbrush with thin bristles and offer our snail to handle it. <sighs> Look how easy and graceful it moves. It's really amazing. But the bristles are really sharp. Yes, but snails produce a slime substance that helps them move and also protects their soft belly that's called a foot. Slime, you said. We have more in common than I thought. It kind of looks like a tongue, though. These snails are very friendly and quiet. That's why some people get them as pets. Snail lovers even invented a new sport, snail racing. Really? I wouldn't bet much on this runner. Snails can carry a weight that is 10 times or more than its own. Not impressed? Well, just imagine yourself lifting up a small horse. And then imagine running. Wow! We should see if it can lift up one slim slime. What was it about its nose being inside out? Unlike humans, the snail's organ that's responsible for their sense of smell is located outside of its body, on the lower tentacles. That's also where its sense of touch is. Where are its eyes? <laughs> Technically, on its upper tentacles, they can sense light, but besides that, they're almost completely blind. Poor snails. They also have no ears, which makes them deaf. They rely on their sense of smell and touch to get around. Did you like this video about snails? Then give this episode a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about other live creatures and where they live, comment below and subscribe to our channel. See you soon! Hey guys, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, comment below and we'll tell you even more funny stories of my life. And uh, while you're doing that, We'll show you another cool thing. Hi guys, look what we have here. We've decided to get ourselves new pets. Little ants this time. Ants are incredible creatures. It's so interesting to watch them. We've purchased a whole house for them, an ant farm. But we need to assemble it first. Are we going to be ant sandwiches? No, Sam. Ants are studied by myrmecologists, and we'll just be keeping the ants at home. Let's see what's inside. Here are all the parts. I think I need to remove this protective layer. <laughs> cool! Give a thumbs up if you like removing protective layers from devices. Right, like this, till the last strip. All the parts are clean. And here we have pads for our ants. We need to assemble them in a certain order. Here's their running ground. Next, we'll need this blue sponge. Let's soak it in warm water. Squeeze the water out. And place it into this cavity. The sponge will create humidity out which the ants will die. Let's pull the sponge through this opening. Now we'll take these five plastic frames and put them together neatly and secure them with screws. And another one. Now, let's insert the screws into the openings, like this. 
We need to insert screws into each empty opening. And now, let's connect the sidewall. This will be the entrance for the ants. Now we'll screw everything in place, but not too tight or the plastic will crack. Done! Let's set this aside. We'll take the base and attach transparent walls to it. And the right wall. Let's take the third wall and attach it carefully. And now comes an exciting moment. We're connecting the rooms to the house. I feel like an ant builder. To make the walls hold, we'll fix them with rubber bands. Oh, I love this. It's so relaxing, guys. And on the other side. We're done with the walls. Now let's secure the bottom. The walls are secure, so now it's time for the roof. Ta-da! The roof shouldn't have any holes. To fix that, we'll use these two parts that will make the cover. And this net. These? Again? No, Sammy. This won't let the ants escape. Phew. I've inserted the net between two parts. Now let's secure them with the screws. And on the other side. Let's cover our roof. And plug the back door to make sure the ants stay inside. We'll have the front door on the other side where our friends will enter the house. Here, we have a tube that we need to fill with water. And here's a sponge plug. Let's insert it into a special opening. The moisture will gradually fill all the rooms of the formicarium. The house is moisturized. Now we only need to add these steps at the entrance. A kind of a porch. Dinner is served. Awesome, Sammy. Let the ants in. Here are our residents. Let's take the cotton ball out. Here, we have a special tunnel, which we'll insert quickly and insert the other end into the house. Yay! The first resident! <laughs> Here comes the second one! We really hope our ants will be comfortable in this house. Our ants are called Cataglyphus enosins, runner ants, which live mostly in grasslands but also in semi-deserts and deserts. Actually, there are so many ants on Earth that currently there are one million ants per human being. The common worker ant lives from 90 days to three years, and the ant queen can reign for up to 30 years. Look! Look! It's lifting something! Ants can carry weights 5,000 times heavier than their own weight. Can you imagine that? Our ants are called runners because they are incredibly fast. They run faster than any other species of ant because they can lift their abdomen in a special way. Ants don't have ears. How can they hear? Ants hear with their knees and feet. They sense vibrations from their surroundings. They're always in a hurry. No wonder ants are a symbol of hard work. Get inspired while looking at them, Sammy. I'm already so inspired. And I'm ready to do something useful. Really? Like what? Like come up with a name for our new ant farm. Oh no, Sammy. I'll give you another task if you're feeling so inspired. Because we'll ask our viewers to come up with a name for our ant house. Yes! Write the names in the comments. We'll select the most interesting one. Okay, I'll let Sam enjoy his new toy. And meanwhile, I'll make for you guys something special. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And press the bell button so you always watch your favorite videos first. If you made it to the first hundred, use a hashtag. Hashtag early squad. Sam! Hey, Sam! Where are you? I want to show you something. Well, to be more exact, someone. Absolutely incredible. Come on, little guy. Oh! There you are! Watching Ninja Turtles again? Yeah, I can't stop watching them. Well, try. There's someone who wants to meet you. Who can it? Oh! Meet 
our possible new pet. We'll see how the rat will fit in here. Oh, forgive my ignorant friend, Master Splinter. What? Master Splinter? No, Sam, it's just a rat. Don't pay attention to her, Master Splinter. She knows nothing about you. Oh, Sam, your imagination sometimes really amazes me. Hey, where are you going? Put Master Splinter back! Let's give the rat some time to get used to the place. Don't bother him, Sam, or you'll scare him. Me? Scare? No, I don't do such things. Yeah, well, I'll leave for a few minutes. Behave yourself. Yeah, yeah. Master Splinter, Master Splinter, your most faithful student is ready to learn. Have you come to teach me the art of the ninja? Yes, yes, uh-huh. I really want to learn. Please? Sam, why are you bothering the rat? I asked you not to. Well, I want to learn the art of the ninja. Oh, Sam, he's just a rat. He doesn't know any ninja art, but he's very smart. Come, I'll show you something. Fine. What have you got here? Are you making a craft? Yep, Sammy, a craft for our rat. Oh, a gift from Master Splinter! I approve. Uh, well, not quite. And Sam, he's not Master Splinter. <sighs> With the help of these cardboard pieces, we'll build a small labyrinth for our rat. And you'll be amazed to see how fast he'll find the exit. A labyrinth? Yes! Rats are very smart. They can quickly analyze their surroundings and find a way out of the most complicated labyrinth. This, this is very curious. I've never seen anything like that before. Guys, do any of you have a pet rat? Write about him in the comments. What will this labyrinth have? Well, there will be a sort of revolving door, a tunnel, a bridge, a seesaw. Well, you'll see if you're going to help me. Of course I will! There's no way I'm gonna miss this! Great, then let's get started. I have some parts here. Uh, go fetch a spinner, please. A spinner? Oh, no problem, we have loads of them. And meanwhile, I'll make a revolving door that will look like a piece of cheese. So, will the spinner soap do? Uh, no, Sam. We need an ordinary spinner. <sighs> well, all right. What about a chocolate spinner? No, Sam. A plastic spinner. The common kind. Like this? Yes, Sam, like that. Oh, for the rat, I'm even ready to sacrifice my favorite spinner. Oh, <laughs> what? Sam, you haven't played with it for half a year. Meh. <laughs> Mere details. Oh, fine. Here, look. A triangle. Oh, like a piece of cheese? Yes, we only need to paint it. Say no more! Charge! Yes, yeah. Well done! <laughs> All these painting drills come off quite useful. I'll glue the spinner to the bottom part of the cheese. Like this. The first labyrinth detail is done! Ugh, it's hard being an assistant. Oh, Sam, they're just small sticks. Well, well, they're heavy! I'm tired. Well, go get some rest then. And I'll make a seesaw for our rat. Get some rest! I never know how a seesaw is made! <laughs> All right, then watch. I'll put five sticks together, like this. I'll glue this part made of a stick and some cardboard on. And another stick with holes to make the support. Let's connect the parts with a skewer. There! Not you! Ah, uh, stop whining, Sam. Look here. Oh, uh, is it a field? It's the base for the labyrinth. Can you see the outlines for all the rooms? We'll glue the piece of cheese here. And the seesaw here. You also mentioned a bridge. That's right, the bridge is made of two parts. The base, which looks like a roll. 
We'll glue it here. And the bridge itself. We'll glue it in three places. Hmm, but it doesn't look like a labyrinth so far. I can see everything really well! <laughs> You're getting ahead of yourself, Sam. First, we'll glue on all the parts, and then we'll make the walls. What is this part? A tunnel! Let's put these holders on the ends of the tube. Will you find the place for the tunnel? Uh, let me think. Uh, here? No. Maybe here? No, Sammy. The tunnel will be right here. Oh, uh, well, all right. How am I supposed to know your plans? Guys, if you want to see more videos with animals on our channel, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button. Hmm, it looks like a basketball field. Yep, that's what it is. One of our rat likes sports. Well, he has lots to choose from. <laughs> right, I'll mark the start. And the finish. And now it's time to put up the walls. We have walls with holes. And without them. And, of course, the entrance and the exit. And the last wall. Don't forget the of course I won't. There! We'll have this little gate at the start, or the rat will simply run back out. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Do you mean the roof? <laughs> I remember. Come here. Let's cover it carefully. Oh, oh, oh will the rat have enough air? Of course, Sammy. There are lots of holes here that will let the air through. All right, then. Shall we call our guest? And the rat enters the labyrinth. We'll close the gates. Where will he go? The rat passes the revolving cheese door. Well done. And he comes to the basketball court. Do you think he'll want to play? <laughs> will he go to the bridge? No, nope, he's figured out it's a dead end. And through the tube he goes! Right, just a bit more. Wow! What a jump! And exit! <laughs> Wow, Sue! I hope you can see now that he's too smart for an ordinary rat. It's Master Splinter! <laughs> I can see it, Sammy. I'm sure he'll be happy to teach you the art of the ninja. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like this labyrinth for our rat. And share this video with your friends! <laughs> Guys, if you want to know what happened after that video, leave a comment below. And while you're doing that, We'll get to our next interesting craft. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Rabbit seems so familiar.
the jam. It was worth all this running. Oh! Uh, it was just a dream? <gasps> oh, the dreams I get these days. Sam, I thought you were reading. Ugh, now I have to clean it up. No! No, wait! Hmm. Hmm. Aha! <gasps> <gasps> oh, Sammy, you can't eat this! But now I can say for sure, I saw such glitter in my dream! Really? Yes, yes, there was this tea party and then <gasps> beautiful cups. Oh, I was going to decorate mugs with this glitter. You were? Oh, and I also saw a rabbit. It was very, very... Like <laughs> this one? Well, something like that. You made this one for me, right? That's right. Guys, do you remember why I made this bunny for Sam? Write in the comments. <laughs> Enough about bunnies. What's up with the mug? Come, I'll show you. I was choosing which glitter to use for our mug decoration. This one, or maybe this one. Why choose? In my dream, there was this color switch. Grandin? <laughs> Gradient? Ooh, this is a great idea. The only kind I have. We'll turn this ordinary mug into a magical one. Let me see. In my dream, there was very delicious tea. Okay, I get the hint. Now, I'll take the tape and... Oh, I forgot. I need to, uh... Check something. Check something? Right. Just admit that you're still afraid of tape. Uh, um, what do you need it for? There was no tape in my dream. I want glitter only on the bottom part of the mug. Ah, oh, I see. All right then, you continue. And the tape, uh, went to take a nap. Let it nap then. Even tape needs a nap. First, I need to cover the mug with glue. Oh, I forgot to bring the glue. Don't worry, I'll go get it. All right, thanks. Hurry, quick, slime Sam's on an important mission. Right. Hmm. Where? <sighs> nope. Uh, nope again. Aha! <sighs> <gasps> uh -huh! oh, oh no! It fell! Uh, fine. I'll jump after it. Oh! Uh, <sighs> and off we go. This glue? Oh, no, Sammy. I need the one in a bottle. Oh! I'll be right back. Sorry, Sammy. It was here all along. It happens. But now I can continue. I'll pour the glue into a bowl. And now I need to spread it over the surface of the mug. and crafts all the time anyway. I'll glue something to you. Oh! Scaring me with glue. Now I want to wash myself just in case. Ugh. Why do I 
keep coming here. I have my own bathroom. Well, fine. I can use a... Oh, feels good. Careful now. I don't want to get all wet. It's gonna be amazing! Now, it's glitter time! Sam! <laughs> well, this won't hurt. Guys, do you remember what items had similar labels in Alice in Wonderland? Write in the comments. I'll take the mug and start sprinkling glitter over it. Instructions have told you. Yeah, yeah. I've started with the darkest shade. Hmm. Where's the tea? Let's see. To get the gradient effect, I'll mix two shades together. And sprinkle the mug with the new color. Check them all and select the best. <laughs> oh, this one's weird. <laughs> mm, this one doesn't smell like anything. <sighs> ah, this one will do. Only the lightest shade is left. Radiant Sam, how many times do I have to correct you? Go and practice saying the word. Grand, no, grand, grand, gradient, gradient. Oh. <sighs> now I'll brush off the excess. Don't brush off all of it. Don't worry. Now, I need to cover the glitter with a new layer of glue to secure it. Coming! <laughs> well done, Sammy! Now we need to leave the mug to dry. <laughs> Sit around. Make another one. Oh. This is the one you picked. That's better. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this idea of turning an ordinary white mug into a Wonderland one. Try new color combinations and send us photos or videos. Bye! Guys, while Sam and I are drinking tea, oh, I mean, thinking of a new video for you, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button! Thanks! <laughs>